Good morning, welcome to Natasha Makes. It is Monday, we have got beautiful fabrics back in stock and some brand new ones for you as well from the very, very fabulous Lisa Chandler. Her stuff is exquisite and divine and all the other big words that we can think of. Um, oh, and there's a couple that we forgot. <laughs> Could you just, they're in the bottom of the box. Could you possibly... Um, Were you hiding those, Inga? Were you keeping them uh, yeah, for yourself? Yeah, we just found two more. Could you possibly whip the plastic off out of uh, out of earshot of the... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there was about to be some <laughs> rummagings <laughs> off. <laughs> um, right, a little bit further off. <laughs> 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 oh dear me, uh, it's all been going on. Every single one has been beautifully wrapped and we've had to beautifully unwrap it. Uh, so, they're in. We thought that this was the consignment with the last of the fabric for the block of the month and it's not. That is still wending its way to us. But what we've done, for those of you that want the block of the month instructions, the putting everything together bit, uh, the sashing and everything, those instructions are live on the website to either buy in paper format or to download. They are there for you now, so you can. So for those of you that bought the whole kit as a whole, um, then you are you are good to get to get cracking. They are there for you. Thank you, Inga. There we go. Lovely. Thank you very much. Um, fabrics that we weren't sure we would be able to get back in some have come back which is very exciting um and just we're going to go through them all so for those of you that have recently found this and gone hang on a minute well where else can i get these in the uk here here we work very closely with lisa um and we are we basically we are the ones that bring them in um from either direct from the mill in japan or um directly from lisa in, uh, in Australia. So we work really, really closely. We've got a lovely relationship with her. She is a fantastic designer, really, really knows her stuff. <clears throat> if you're interested in knowing more about her, we did, gosh, it must have been about this time last year, an interview, yeah, an interview with Lisa, um, just so that you could get to know her a little bit more. She's a really, really lovely lady. Um, and she makes me laugh a lot. Uh, before we get going with Lisa's fabrics, there were a handful of these left. These went out on your Friday deals and they were just, I just didn't want anyone to miss out on them who might have missed out on the newsletter. Look at that! Lost in space. Isn't that fabulous? That is a 24 inch panel. It is. And then to go with it, let me just show you this. <laughs> Very exciting. Look! We've put some space fabrics there That's and half also meter. half a metre of that and then fat quarters of your green, your blue and your orange. And we've taken that down to the silly price of just seventeen ninety nine for all of that. So your 24 inch panel, your half metre of spaceships and then your three fat quarters there so that you could do whatever you wanted around the edge or back or whatever you want. You've got the fabric to do that. There's even a space worm down there. <laughs> space worm? Well, I'm calling him a space worm. Amazing. That's what I'm calling him. Not a space snake? Mm -mm. I don't know. He looks quite friendly. He does look quite friendly. He does, actually. Although Freddie did tell me that there is such a thing as an eyelash snake. I was like, a what now? Everyone has eyelash little um, mites. No, but when you, mm. when you actually... Um, Google yeah, yeah. eyelash snake. It's a snake with skinny. eyelashes. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Not super skinny. No, like no, 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 no. As in, oh, like, wow. actually take a look because uh, it's a bit weird. And he's Freddy clearly knows this stuff. been at the old Discovery Channel again. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. Amazing. It's, it's never a bad thing, apart from, yeah, when he knows all the stuff I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Should we say good morning to some people? That is the that goal, you know. Nice. That is the goal. You well, want, they should know more them. than yeah. I do. Yeah, that is what you want for Yeah, them. the trouble is his eight and thinks he does. Yeah. Already. Well, I mean, he to be fair, I mean, he's three probably and knows does. she does. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Uh, who have we got? We've got Jan. We've got Elizabeth. Good morning. Oh, hang on. Let's get rid of these generated captions. Ah, allow local network access to watch videos on your TV. Okay, thank you very much. Um, and no. <laughs> just no. Stop it. 
Stop it. Where are the cam where's my thingy for the captions gone? Gemma Live. Oh, there we go. Turn off captions. Um, morning, Carol. Morning, June. Why isn't this letting me see who's saying anything? Oh, that's just rude, isn't it? Is, is that because no one said anything? Don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see if I'm I can getting see, shall no we? chat at all. Aww. Maybe everybody's just quiet. Um, but I've anyway. got some chats. Oh, hey up. <laughs> hey up. Morning, Sue. <laughs> you crawl on that floor, Inga. I know. <laughs> so the camera that's directly in front of me here covers the whole room. <laughs> and uh, for anybody that needs to get a message in when that camera is on, has to basically crawl or be gemicized to get underneath it. Do the sideways crab walk if they the want to get that side walk. of the bed. Yeah, down the side <laughs> of the wall. Side of the room. <laughs> um, it, we have all the fun. In I here. have chat. Do you want me to read the chat if you go can't on. see the uh, chat? Oh, no, here it is. Oh, it's good. finally come up. Oh, yes, good. good morning. <laughs> I've got Helen. Good morning, Natasha. And everyone just dropped in quickly before I have to go to work. Sop. Good morning, Yvonne. You will be so excited to get them. Um, oh, Jan. Morning. Morning, Julia. Morning, Sharon. Um, the quilt behind us. This is the Elliot Garden quilt. Uh, and we've, we've got this on the website. And it's mm -hmm. just so simple. So, so simple. Um, and it's we've got the fabrics back in stock, which is why we can waft it about a bit. Jane, in fact, demoed that, so we've got that as a, as an actual show. Um, <laughs> so no, we're here. Morning, Liz Aubrey. Morning, Margaret. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, there we are. Well, that's lovely to have you all with us. So. Not only have we got beautiful fabrics back in stock with Lisa and we'll go through and just show you some of the collections so that you can get an idea of what goes with what when you're mixing and matching. These are all available by the half meter unless otherwise stated. Um, and also we've got patterns that you might not have seen on the website if you haven't been delving around. Um, as well as some brand new kits which are very, very special because they're EPP kits but 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 they've got perspex rather than paper so they make a proper dish they're lovely really lovely and if you're me you've sewn all the parts upside down uh, more on that in a little while that's my nod to it being lisa's design and clearly also upside down in australia um oh what to show you first what do you want to look at first then peeps what should we look at? What should we look at? So many beautiful things. I know, <laughs> really I know, I know. I get a little bit, uh, a little bit awestruck. I'm like, oh, where do, where do I start? Where do I start? Um, and Jane sort of tried to categorise them a little bit for me, which is super, super tricky. Right. If you have got the summertime tote pattern, then you will be pleased to know that these three fabrics are back in stock. Yeah. We had these very, very much. Um, right. We have got, let's take a look at these then, shall we? So, um, these are ba -ba -ba -ba, your mint gum leaves. They're back, they're back. There they are. And then we have got uh, the gum leaves in teal. Now, if we're looking at teal, we've got various teals going on. Uh, so the teal goes with some of these, but you'll notice that that has a gold to it. So that one is going to work most beautifully over here. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. So I'll kind of gather them together in sort of selections, if you will. Now, over here, this is the tile print. Let's just have this so that you can really appreciate. I was working with some of this fabric over the weekend in the sunshine in Cornwall, and my mum, who's not really seen, because of lockdown and everything, she hasn't really seen much of Lisa's fabric um, up close and personal, as it were. She's like... Why does that fabric glitter? How does that fabric glitter? I'm like, Mum, it is the very last screen when it's printed is always metallic. Some other manufacturers do it part way through, uh, but with Lisa, it's always the last one. So you don't lose 
any of that incredible glistening. It's just beautiful, really, really beautiful. So that's why. This is the tile fabric. There's a lot of this used actually in the um, Melbourne Picnic blanket kit. Oh, that was just so stunning, wasn't which it? Which was very, very gorgeous. So stunning. Very, very gorgeous. And that was where that was where I was sold out. Yes. Basically. <laughs> um, and it used the silver fans, now back in stock. Woo! And it, these are just slightly different because they've got they've got the silver. There's your fans in teal again with the silver so that they work with this collection and then you've got the pink fans and again with that silver so that you've got silver all over and if you are seriously if you're looking at the summertime tote i think it was yep. then it was that one that one and that one together to make that tote i'm just popping that instruction into today's collection. And it's a very, very easy, easy make, that it's, one. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a really very, nice one. Yeah, it's super easy, super effective. Ooh, there we go. Now, if you want to stay with um, silver, then, of course, the blues here would look lovely with the silver fans. Now, you see... We were saying about um, the Elliot's quilt, Elliot's garden quilt, and Jane and I were saying the thing about it is, is that you could put anything in those panels. So it could be these fans in those panels, or however else you wanted to do it. So these fans, gosh, these fans sold out ages ago. We haven't had these for ages. Yeah, they really did. Have we? And um, I wasn't sure, because Lisa's... I don't know if she's going to reprint all of these, certainly not all the colourways. There's a lot of Summer Palace, isn't there, that's palace. not going to come back. Yeah, <gasps> so if you do fancy these, and look, we've got them in the two different colourways there, in the blues with the silver. So I'm just pulling these at the moment because of having the silver fans back in stock. So if you want to go the full fan way, then you've got that. These um, were in the Imperial yeah. House 2 quilt. Sorry? These were in the Imperial House two quilt mm. and it was just stunning so i'm going to pull anything with kind of silver accents um in just one moment we'll pull the rest of these out they are very, very beautiful very, very beautiful because also to go with this um We've had those. Ba, 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 ba. What else am I showing you? Oh, oh, oh. You know, so we've got back in stock, don't you? This is the small floral. And it's got the silver. This is one of the only ones, isn't it? It's that beautiful light green, again, with that silver detailing in there, which is rather lovely. And let's now have a look at some of the other Summer Palace. So if you're going for those fans, why not pop yourself a border? Gemma! Just gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You know, when fabric's just so detailed, it kind of makes the quilt itself. <laughs> You well, that, do you know what? Huge that's sections the thing, of this. You don't need a lot of pieces. That is the thing. So I think that's why it has appealed to, to so many people because the fabrics, like you say, they just stand out. Mm. They are absolute. Every time we have different um, suppliers, distributors, or whatever come in, they always make a beeline for Lisa's fabric. And yes. Go, what? What? Not it. Where, where's this from? Well, this one tells a story as well. You know, it goes a step beyond. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, just. Yeah, it is a bit special. Look at it. Just, just gorgeous. In fact, what I'm going to do is, and of course, then you've got those accented pieces in these fabrics here. So you've got it in your fans. So it all, all repeats around, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and then it's, you know, whether or not you want the darker fans or the lighter fans, um, it's up to you. But I'm just going to pop that on a close up so that you can really see when we talk about the detailing in these. So the mill that these are printed at have 
a special step that they do in between the screens being printed and not many do it. So it's all kind of like hush hush where these things get printed but they do a special almost like an airbrushing effect in between mm. which is how you get that depth. Most people assume that these are like digitally printed because of the depth to them. They're not. They're screen printed, traditionally screen printed. They're really very very stunning. But you can just see Now, to go with, we have got, and I love this one, because it just gives your eye time to just, ha, huh, relax. So this one is, I want to call it basket weave, wicker, wicker, that's it, wicker. That's your wicker in blue. And then... The cherry blossoms back. I didn't think we were getting any more of these. No. I thought I thought Lisa messaged in the show saying that we weren't getting any more. I think there's some that can't be obtained, but yeah. Or is it the um, the big bigger floral? It's my palace floral. Oh, is but, it? Yeah. But oh, I don't just, know. We're just oh, we grateful of anything from this know. collection because it's just so beautiful. We're not going to argue. No. We'll happily take any of it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And then there's those there's those fans again. If I just pop those there, then you can see how those really do work so well with your dragonfly and everything else in there. Gorgeous. So that is sort of the collection. If you want to go for those um, together, so that you've got them. Um, Gemma has written when it's a sixty centimeter uh, pattern repeat. She generally does make yes. that, and then you can decide if you therefore want to go for a meter, or sometimes we only sell it in 60 centimeter increments, if that's, you know. If it has a going. panel type appearance to it, then we tend to do that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, because you don't do want to miss out on yeah. something. Otherwise we do mention what the repeat is. Tash, your little panel at the back has just flipped down and your batteries might drop out any minute. Oh, has it? Yeah, there we there go. go. And then you'll be in. like Buzz Lightyear with no batteries, she'll just fall to the floor. Uh, pff, I don't I mean, want to I see might. you with no batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like ever ready. <laughs> you <laughs> are. You're like, the, like the bunny. Don't want your batteries falling out. That'd be a terrifying no. prospect. No. <laughs> no, the wheels will come off. And that would just be a crying shame. It'd not be okay, would it? No. Right, right, right. Let's put those back up there. I'm going to put the silver fans up with them. And this is the beauty, isn't it? Because you can you can mix and match and across. Yeah. But if you are sticking with those silvers, then absolutely why not? Um, right, right, right. Let's have a little change of pace for now. <laughs> um, because, well, quite frankly, these are beautiful. Gemma. Yes. Was this or was this not one of the ones that we very first fell in love with yes. and saw of Lisa Chandler's yeah. and went, yes, 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 yes. So this is under the Australian sun. And these, the, it was so that she could bring this collection that Lisa spent two years training to draw botanically correctly, which is crazy, isn't it? But she did. She did. She did. She's she absolutely did. her art. Um, so that she could bring you botanically correct Australian flowers. Her parents are quite into their horticulture, so she just felt it was quite important to do that. Now, this of course is going to work beautifully with your teal, um, completely got flowering gum. It also works very beautifully actually with the darker teal as well, the new colourway in your stripe. Fabulous. It's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Because it's just bringing a different depth of colour and dimension. Now, if we're looking at other colours to go with, we have got the pink flowering gum. We also have, is this one the pear? I want to say it's pear. Pear, oh yes, look, pear's back. And then also what works rather beautifully is the purple as well. I mean, these are just the most wonderful blenders, but at the same time, it seems rude to call them that. I know. <laughs> so Stand alone, yeah. they are exquisite. They are. Absolutely exquisite. Now, I know this is called the Eastern Tote, but could you imagine all of this bit 
in this. Be rather gorgeous, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. Um, we'll have a look at some of these bags actually whilst we've got these out so you can start to imagine. Um, we've also got the French apron bag there. We also have the Melba Go Go girl bag, and we've got these fabrics back in stock. We also have the Melba Pintuck bag. We've demoed that. You we have. actually have a demo of that yeah. one. Yeah, you did that in Odile as well. I did do it in mm. Odile. And then this is the twisted knitting bag. I have yet to do this one. No, this is true. I think I probably should. Yes. Um, we've got the panel pocket tote there, which I think would be rather amazing in one that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and the pin tuck patchwork. And we've got this fabric for the first time, I want to say, ever in this colorway. It's this fabric, but in the black colourway. I will show you shortly. Gorge. Gorge, but gorge. Like so, a child in a sweet shop this morning. Oh, do you know, it made me so happy when they came in. It's like, I can't believe it. So maybe you've been waiting for your favourite fabrics to come in. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows? Um, but if you have, here they are. And they are absolutely, as ever, blinking gorgeous, aren't they, Jim? They are just stunning. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, it's just a matter of which ones do you choose. That's the thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I don't have part. exhaustive supplies of these. These are taking a while to get. And because we were stocking so much, restocking so much, I've only got a couple of bolts of each. That was where that went. OK, so, so, so let's have a look. Um, OK. I'm going to bring this in because, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, bless you. I <laughs> don't actually know which one is my favourite, the blue or the red. It's such a challenge. Because we, we normally go blue, don't we? But We're these normally reds blues. are just... But you see, yeah, so when Emma used to work with us, it was easy because she'd yeah. go red, I'd go blue, and there'd be no argument. Everyone was happy. But you and I got like sometimes the same colours. Yeah. Not to wear. No. Look at the flower, look at the gum leaf with it. How gorgeous. But this red's is that just so decadent leaf? that. I know. Oh. Wow. So, just going to throw it out there because look at all of those colours. Oh. I know, I know, and if you want to pick out this colour, please do bear in mind that we have a very, very limited amount of the cherry blossom mm -hmm. in the green. But that is that colour, so that's going to pull out that colour. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Very, very lovely. Um, now, what else have I got hiding under here? Oh, yes. Now, this is your classic flowering gum with the, with, it's got the little bit of green in, um, which means that the uh, kits for kaleidoscope. the kaleidoscope can go. So if you've been waiting patiently for that, thank you so much. All of these fabrics have just taken us so much longer than we ever imagined. It's just the... Some things are worth the, the wait. World. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Oh, this is the one that we can't get in blue. Oh. Yeah. The Summer Palace floral. Mm. She is a beaut, isn't she? She really is. She really is. <gasps> I'd forgotten just how much I love that one. I really had. I'm just looking at the pear um, <coughs> flower and gum thinking, go quite nicely with it. But then actually the gold here, flower and gum, works very beautifully with it too. Also, we have, just keeps on coming. Today's show is the gift that just keeps on giving, Gemma It is. Because we need to do that, um, that uh, quilt with the fans in, don't we? Mm-hmm. 
Did we ever do it? The one with the large... So we did the Imperial House 2, which had those ha those fans in. Where um, is that? I don't know where that sample is. I don't know where the sample is. Oh, that's probably ended up on someone's bed. Someone's pinched that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them, to be fair. It's not on mine. Oh, Judy, the floral teal is on the website. It is there. I've just moved it up further up the collection for you. Hopefully you'll spot it. Now, um, look how beautifully... Lisa has said oh, that. I don't, yeah. I'm ashamed, I don't know whether it's these fans or the other fans, but she says, the fans are my fave. New quilt coming for them too. Oh, fabulous. I but love look, a bit of a look at these greens yeah. and how beautifully they go across with that one there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ooh. Ooh. Is that uh, Lisa of the Chandler, perchance? Yeah. Hey, good morning, Lisa. Um, now, also, 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 in here, we've got, hiding under here, <gasps> they're back! Ding, ding, ding! These are your flower flowers, and we've got them back, and these are in gold, gold! Love these. Beautiful. Beautiful, just beautiful. Right, let's pop some of these back up here. The nice thing is, I mean, I know they kind of come as collections, but there's absolutely nothing to stop you from mixing and matching through no. one of these, is there? Absolutely. Realistically, I look, it's this that I absolutely... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the gum leaves in red. How absolutely stunning is that? Really stunning. Really stunning. Didn't we do? Did we do an Elliot's quilt version with the yes. red? We yes, did, I didn't think we? So. If you want us to create any of those Elliot's quilt kits, can you just drop us a little line? Because we've got the fabric back in now. We can. We can. And it's that one. We can put. We yeah. can put that together for you again. Always happy to put a quilt together, aren't we? Of course we? we are. Of course we are. We love that. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Uh, right. Where to go next? Where to go next? <laughs> <laughs> You're a in giddy. a proper spin. I know, I know, I know. Oh. I just can't remember what I've shown, what I haven't. Yep, you've got that wonderful shelf to do, and there are some new ones in there here. There are some beauts, beauts in here. Let me tell you, some absolute beauts. Yes. Mm -mm. Just chuckling away to myself in the corner. Why, Why are you chuckling? Where are you? Oh, it's just exciting. We've waited know. so long for these to come in and they're here and they're beautiful. <laughs> right. Well, I'm fairly sure if you could get away with it, you'd just be like, mine, mine, keeping it all for me, mine. <laughs> My mummy brought me up to share. She did. Apparently. She did. That's what I've got to do. I know. Rude. There, look at this. We have never had this colourway. How have we never had this colourway? Do you know, we had lens cloths that yep. were this. Yeah. So when we saw it, we were like, yeah, yeah, that get. No, we've, we've not, not had it. Not actually had this. Fabric. No. Just yeah. Oh, there. You, have you got your matching lens cloth? Oh, I know you've got this lens cloth, haven't you? Somewhere. Um, I do have this lens cloth. About. I have lots of lens cloths. We will be getting. And some they more are lens on cloth. their way. Yes. Yeah. There's my lens cloth. These are great. They're actually, the lens cloths are brilliant <laughs> and really are. Um, better than any. That's why I've got so many. La scattered around the place right so flower uh, this is you're under the australian sun beautiful and look we've got your classic gold that is your flowering gum without the little green bit so if you just want to go gold then you can Gemma also for the first time this was like how come you've never had this but of course we bought the stock from utah when we first started there you go because um, Lisa was meant to go to the Houston Quilt Festival just before lockdown hit. And she'd shipped all her fabric to Utah. She's like, it's crazy for me to ship it from all the way back to then ship it back to you. So we just got it direct from there. This Honestly, true. this fabric's very well traveled. Not this stuff. That's why we didn't, we never had this event, uh, initially. No. Which means that this is a new colorway too, which is the flowering gum red which is rather fabulous too. Now, that means that we have a flowering gum that goes with the stripe. 
And you can start to see how these collections just build and build, can't you? Now, also, let's just, if we've got that red, bring in the stripe here, which goes so beautifully with this one. This is your um, stripe in red and ivory, which just works so beautifully here. These are same fabrics, different colorways. Are they or are they not just beautiful, Gemma? Stunning. But really, I mean, just really gorgeous. Look at those together. Um, right. So. Also, I'm not sure that we've ever had flower and gum orange. We had flower and gum orange. Do you know what? Yeah. I think that we should put together a fat quarter bundle of the flowering gums. I mean, that would be beautiful, wouldn't because it? Because look at those. And then you would ombre your flowering gums all over the shop, which would not be wrong. It wouldn't be wrong. It wouldn't be wrong, would it? Nope. Because you look, that then... Oh! Hang on a minute. Because <laughs> we've also got the flowering gum olive. Look at that. Oh, just look at those together. Fabulous. We'll look at the fans in a minute. We have a question. Oh, what's the question? What's the slightly minty coloured one that Tash just put the gold ones on top of, please? This Should one down the here? Mint, the mint gum leaves? That is the mint gum leaves. I think so. That is mint gum leaves. Yes, yes, yes. And now... Beautiful. This one is back. And this is the one that we've made such bags as this out of. And the saddle satchel out of would be rude not to right definitely right right loving it oh, loving Yvonne's it. wishing you a good evening from Melbourne Australia ah hi Yvonne and Auntie Lizzie Crangle says it's the first time that she's not upset at her laptop freezing it's a screen of beautiful fabric well I know right you can't you can't be mad now what goes with this apart from <laughs> This ombre of beautifulness. Jen, we're going to have to put those together. The red, the orange, the gold and the olive. Just look how it sits with those. Whoa. Beautiful. But you know what? Maybe we should put a bundle, because look at that with it too as well. I don't know if we should do like collection bundles. I'm never sure. I'm never no. how I'm sure. It's or difficult, just, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Really hard when they all work so beautifully together. Because take the black out the way there for a minute. Like I would buy that as a bundle for sure. Definitely. Well, I, I mean, Definitely. I did. Quite Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> just addressing important issues of the day because I can feel minor panic setting in. Oh no, what's the panic? The under the Aussie sun floral teal can't be found. What? I've just given it a little poke. I've taken its sales channels off and put them back on again, which in layman's terms means I've hopefully made it work now. Well, so have a little look. I've just refresh your page and hopefully it'll pop up and you'll see. I put it together with all the other pretty ones that are similar to it. Or what do you mean, all the other pretty well, ones? Those, They're those all blinking gorgeous, colours, Gem. Those pretty similar colours. I mean, colours. look at that. And when you actually see it from a distance. Yeah. Just gorge. And just see how that light on it. It's iridescent. It's just beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. Just gorgeous. So we've got it in the brown. We've got it in the ivory. First time ever. <laughs> I'm not even slightly pleased about this, are you, eh? Um, I'm smug. Smuggy muck smug. Smuggy muck smugness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we've waited so long for those. I mean, just, oh, just enjoy this shelf. Yeah. What? Some noises coming from the warehouse today. I don't know what they're doing. I think someone's having a big fight with some plastic or something. It sounds like it. They're wafting It'll it about oh, yeah. something chronic, and then there was a rah, which is not a rah of. You know, any great problem. It's just <laughs> Inga getting frustrated. She'll Those be packing up something super, together. super well, won't she? Um, actually, just be really annoying. I could probably do with stealing that flowering gum red. Unless she did take a lovely photo. I did. I sent it, it to you it on your WhatsApp. Come through the other two. The florals did, but not the not the flowering gum red. 
Oh, flour and gum rind? No, I didn't take. No, no. I need to take one of them. Oh, no. Does that I mean we set we it live with no image. Okay. But, but yes, we know. it's, um, yeah. So is everyone, that's my fault. <laughs> you can't get the staff, everyone, eh? Uh, here. I haven't been here next. Right. Righto. It's my workout done for the day, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at the fans. We're a fan of the fans. This is we the dark are. red here. Which goes so beautifully with fans in black. Decadent. Decadent, 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 decadent. Ah, ha, ha. Check it now out. Now this one. Yes, yes, yes. This and one yes. flies out. It does time. fly out. And I'll show you what people forget goes so beautifully with it. Yeah. And that is its the stripe. classic stripe. Mm -hmm. So if you are going... Yeah. Une, trois. Just a wood. A wood. Your French is coming on so well. Huh? Your French is coming on so well. I mean, I'm practically native speaker. Practically. Yeah. Practically. Yeah. Um, Pretty much there. <laughs> Nailed it. Right. This is your orange multi. So when it's a multi, it basically means it's got the green going on. Ooh, which looks rather lovely, actually, with that one. Ooh, yes. Oh, I rather like that. Oh, it's all good. Now, um, ooh, this is your... Now, this is sold in 60 centimetre increments because this is your project panel. So if... Well, I mean, you can make bags and goodness knows what out of that, and we have in the past or you can do the chatelaine out of it it's entirely entirely up to you look this is the melba pintup bag with it in the gray you can see it's taken this but basically mix and match it through with any of your under the australian suns and you are laughing indeed i am also laughing because apparently you can get the star it's just not you <laughs> <laughs> lovely Jane, she sent me a photo of beautiful fabric. All right. Thank you, lovely Jane. <laughs> what about smalling, uh, smalling flower? Smalling Small flower. <laughs> small flower in cream and orange. Small floral. Also, small floral, also <laughs> back in stock. Um, goes beautifully with, of course, all of these. I quite like smalling flower, I'll be honest. Smalling flower? Yeah. yeah. At least Mr. Truth We've there. also got it back in stock in the black, which, if you're after, you know, just a little, a little bag. These pop up in a lot of projects as well, they don't do. they? They really do. And we sell out of them. These are one yeah. of the first to always sell out. They are. The they're because they go with everything. Because you need that small floral. You do. You just do. There's that no arguing flower. about it. It's the one. Just no arguing about it at all. No. We're not going to argue, Gemma. No, never. No. Us? No. no. Because look, it just goes with everything. So, oh, yes. There we go. We'll just use that. So you should. Vicky's completely in love with the fans and the flowering gums. Of course she is. And her new puppy, of course. Ah, oh, puppy <laughs> Sam. Puppy Sam. Puppy Sam. Apparently, uh, we've got black flowering gum coming soon too, to go with those. Yeah, we've got new oh, colourways oh, oh, oh. on their ways. It's extraordinarily exciting. Oh, Lisa's yes. giving away all the secrets in the chat. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa. <laughs> It is rather stunning. Put that to one side there. Now, I think Claire Angeline is trying to better your practically native speaking French. Um, I don't think she will. And is saying that she and Adam practice counting in French uh, backwards when they need to use the microwave. So they watch the timer and they count it down. So perhaps you can do that now. Um, you do pop your lunch in the microwave quite a bit. Trois de un. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm there. See? I'm there already. Me and a three-year-old, or however no, old nothing, Adam is nothing now. Nothing to improve on there. I don't think he's still three. I think he's older. He's done that thing of like growing. <laughs> Karen, right. Karen Let's says look. small floral is just gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, guys, this is going to fly. You are getting first dibs before it goes on Crate and Craft, and I'm not expecting to have any left. 
after it goes on there. Okay, so just to give you that heads up. Flowering gum, also in olive and taupe. Next to your olive, looks beautiful. Flowering gum, whoops, uh -oh. in ivory, giving it a very different feel in that lovely gold. Oh, your gum leaves. Yeah, gum leafing all over the place. And then in black. Brenda's very excited about the mint gum leaves. Is very she? Very excited about the mint gum leaves. She says, we've just decorated one wall with mint botanical garden. Oh, beautiful. Um, and some kind of navy birds. I must get the mint gum leaves for cushion covers. How fantastic. Do, do, do. That's it in the, t in the mint. This is it in the green green. So you've got... Taupe and olive, cream green, uh, black, green green, mint. All the leaves in all the colours. I've thrown all the bags on the floor, just so that we know. Uh, I can't. I can't be helped today. I can't. Cannot. 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 Oh, Vicky wants to know what the slightly minty, minty coloured one that has the gold on it up there. That's the small floral. Yeah, the small floral is rather mm. gorgeous. Rather gorgeous. Uh, and we showed that quite early on. Yes. Right. But she didn't catch it. Oh, we will. But yeah, small floral, green silver. So that's treble zero three ten, I believe. Yeah, they all have funny old codes they on them. They do. There we go. Right. Now, today we are making, because we are actually making something. Well, I say making. What I've got for you are these. Now, these have just come in. They are called Christmas dishes. And I've got these finished samples winging their way. But I couldn't really wait, because I was like, well, they're here now. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So I need them in my life. If you are sensible about this, you will do those the right way up. However, I was trying to juggle children on holiday whilst trying to cut mine out. You get... <laughs> Concentration issues? Yes. Aww. Yes. I have part Karen has mine. those today. Hmm? Karen has those today. She says, I'm trying to concentrate on my sewing, but you are being very distracting Sorry, today. Sorry, <laughs> I'm fabric enabling all over the place. <laughs> Soz. Um, these come with the outer and the inner perspex, okay? You want to keep them separate. You want to do all the outer and then all the inner because there's only a slight difference in size. Um, these these come in the kit. But I can't sell these separately. I don't know where Lisa gets them done. Nope. She gets them done in Australia. She puts them in the pack. She sends them to us. Okay. But it means that this will end up being a dish. I've done mine upside down. I don't think it actually matters. I rather love it. Anyway, look, that's the base. How beautiful is the base? I could make Stunning. up some rubbish about yep. doing it as a homage to Lisa being in Australia. You but could. I think we all know that I was just distracted with children. And then when it was only when I'd sewn it all together, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> or you could use it as a dome. There we go. Look, you could pop it over something. Keep the dust off. Yeah. Cupcake, actually. <gasps> Every day, pop what, a cupcake, cupcake on the reveal. table. Put, it, put that over the top. <laughs> I think Lisa will get on board with that. Yeah. Do you know okay. what, though? I just... It seems a shame to have that and not be able to see it. It really does. It really does. Like, do you know how hard I, I, I fussy cut that? I did. I did. Bless you. I did. 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 Um, so you can have it in the, in the black or the silver. They are two options. Okay. And again, they are exclusive to us. You cannot get them anywhere else. Um, and with this Perspex, it's rather fabulous. How does that work? Right. So what I would say to you to do, and you get little triangular ones, which not triangular, diamond shaped ones, which kind of bend in the middle. They're very clever. They've got like a little groove in them. Now, when you, because you're fussy cutting, that's why you've got more fabric than you need. However, when you've cut them all out and then you realise you've done them around the wrong way, there isn't enough way to do them. So the way that you should do them is with the flat edge up to there. That would make most sense, Jim. However, me, no, no, me, I went, oh, look, it fits really beautifully into there. Just like that, in that shape. Isn't that gorgeous? That's what I did. Yeah got me a sew line glue pen we've restocked on those a little bit dabbed on the back 
and then use the print so I lined it up so that my leaves were at each edge and then that my my pot my, my very tip went on that bit there so I'm lining up same bits to same bits so that I can then fussy cut to my heart's content there we are and then cut including your seam allowance I can just cut right through the middle there and that's why I put my fabric onto onto there you can make it really neat or not it's entirely up to you so you're going to use this perspex like you would paper if you're EPPing, all right, and it stays in always, which is what is going to give it this lovely shape. So again, run your glue along there, and then run your finger to hold that glue along there, and then your finger to hold it. Oh, I've got me a. That's um, for anyone's wondering what that is. That is the glue everywhere Jim. This, uh, the Soline glue by the way dries clear so it doesn't matter if I've got it all over the place. That's why I like to use it because it doesn't matter. It's brilliant isn't it? Yeah so it goes on a colour so you can see where you've put it but then it dries clear. It will wash out if you need it to but I don't think we're going to be washing these. No. Well hopefully not. Only if my children decide to put something very undesirable in there. Entirely possible. Also entirely possible, but you see, yeah, you can see why I did that, can't you? Yeah. And then didn't actually think about the fact that it was <laughs> going to sit that way in it. So just, you know, actually take a look at, and read the pattern as well. Do as I say, <laughs> not as well, I do. I know, Lisa has a cup of tea rule, which is to sit down and read through the instructions. But clearly, I never feel like I have time That's to do that. That's the first instruction on her instructions, it isn't is it? It is the first instruction yeah. on her instructions, is a cup of tea rule. But you like to live dangerously. Yeah. And yeah. then rue the day. <laughs> rue the day, Gemma I rue the day. A little bit under there just to hold that down. Dee dee dee. Little dab under there, little dab under there. Pink, pink, pink. And then there it is. So you're going to do that to all your pieces. And you see, look, then they all are the same, which is just fabulous. Um, now, with these, in the instructions, it tells you very clearly, and the instructions come in it, um, that you do one, two, three, which are these, one, two, three. So you sew those three together, and then one, two, three, those. I've just tried to get ahead with timings. Let me put my little leather patch back on again. There we go. Um, and I've just stitched those side bits on. But ordinarily, you would clip those together if you've got a quilter's clip or something, some such shenanigans, oh look, there we are. It just stops your hand from grabbing. So you can just pop that on there. And then you're gonna sew together like you would any of your EPP. Only because with EPP, you can, it's forgiving if you go through the paper with this, you don't go. You don't go through the perspex at all. Okay, so you do literally. So don't glue the edge because otherwise you won't be able to get through it. Glue onto the perspex. These are just the little tips that I can give you. And then sew together as you would any of your your EPP. But you're just catching those couple of threads, those top threads, as you go. Using a, a quarters clip like that just means it stops any hand fatigue. I forgot to take a clip with me to Cornwall when I was sitting in the sunshine, sewing away, getting sunburnt for you guys. <laughs> I know, right, Jim? Someone has to do it. Wow. Selfless, you know. I know. I know. 
I'm allergic to sunscreen. I've got one I need to try you on, see if that works. Um, I mean... I'm the same. I'm terrible. I come out in prickly heat. Oh, hives. hives. Yeah, hives in prickly hives. heat. Just all over the shop. Horrid. So, um... It's quite common, you know, isn't it? There's an acid in, um... I read somewhere in, um, in the sunscreen that often creates that for people. Mm, not fun. No, not fun at all. Anyway, I also didn't realise just how sunny it was on my, uh, my lovely little weekend well, away. Saturday it was supposed to be 19 degrees and it most certainly was not 19 degrees and my neighbour got quite burnt and gosh, she let her other half know about it. Oh, really? Yeah, we saw them the next day and bless him. <coughs> He's oh. like... Uh, are you sunburnt, Chloe? Does it sting? Where, where is it? Your arm? You didn't mention it. You didn't mention it all afternoon yesterday, all last night, and first thing when I woke up this morning. <laughs> oh. But it's horrible, isn't it, when it's, you know, stingy sunburn. It's when you have a small child who insists on being carried oh. because she's tired and you've made her do a long walk around the woods, and she's then insisted on paddling. Yep. Nice. You know what's going to happen, don't you? And you go, Aww. let's roll up your trousers. By this stage of the holiday, she's having to wear her pyjamas because everything else is now soaked and wet. <laughs> which then resulted to a little trip to the shops to then buy her some more clothes because I had nothing dry <laughs> to then drive her home in. Excellent. Yes. I can't really complain. I was with my mum and dad and I could just hear them giggling to themselves because at the same age... We went to the Lake District for my aunt's wedding mm. and um, Lake Windermere. Nice. My brother went out paddling and um, I decided to follow him. I'm three years younger. So he was six. I was three. Excellent. Well, of course you can come out as far as I can. Yes, of course I can. Oh, no. No, I cannot. My wellies are not the same. My dad had to give me a pee back all the way home <laughs> because... <laughs> Everything was so wet. Yeah. So I can't really. But if you hadn't have done that, you wouldn't have this lovely story. Right, which enjoy. I'm thrilling everyone with yes. whilst I hand stitch some glorious fabrics. I need to get hold of these Perspex things. They're rather fabulous. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it just gives it a lot more... Um, not shush. What's the word I want? Uh, strength. Yeah. I mean, zhuzh would do. Yeah, who doesn't love a bit of zhuzh? Everyone loves a bit of zhuzh. So then, you've got that done. And then these just sit in to here, like so. And let me just show you. You're going to stitch down there, and then you'll be like, oh, hang on a minute. Let me just clip that on. How can I possibly then line it up with that? Well, what you do is you allow that one, that one will then bend and you can then align it along there and stitch along there. So that's why these are ingenious because they bend. Those diamonds bend to allow you to be able to sew everything together. And then what you will do is go right sides together, stitch down there, and that will make your insidey bit, which will then sit inside of that bit, and you will then whip stitch all the way around the top. Let's just pretend those are sewn in. And this is why you've got to make sure you've got your inside and your outside ones. Those will be stitched in. And that will be the inside of your rather glorious bag. Not bag, bowl. Beautiful. But you see, they will all be whip stitched. So it's going to be very robust. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can choose to do it the right way around or upside down. It's up to you. <laughs> However you fancy. Because you've shown both options. Absolutely. Just... To I be like to do that. Really thorough. I like I like that. Really thorough. Everyone likes thorough. Got to be thorough. Um, I'm limited on those, by the way. I've only got what I've got. 
that's helpful, isn't it? Well, it's not like we can pop down the shop and get some more, is it? No, yeah, you know, no, no. They're not readily available. No, especially as Lisa put them together for us. And you won't find them anywhere else. Um, is the quilt a kit or do I have to purchase separately? Sharon, if you tell us, is it that colourway? We had a couple of colourways, didn't we? We did. Look. We can probably pop one together for you. Or just re enliven. Yes. Let's <laughs> clearly click, Jan. You type fast. She really does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's about the only thing I can do fast. Hang on. Melba tile in ivory already sold out. Let's have a look. Really? Has it? We'll look into that. I don't know whether the Melba tile in ivory was one we had back in, was it? Oh, printing you the fans in periwinkle with gold as well. Yes, 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 we will have it first. We will, we will, we will. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we will double check that. Yeah, we'll check that. Yes. Um. Oh, an elephant stamp for getting the name right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, right, I think we're getting it. I think we're getting it all there. Can't find under the Aussie sun floral teal. Is it actually called? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's floral, teal and pink. If you just type floral, teal and pink or just the code, Margaret, it's, which um, is 001314. It's back up now. They found it. You'll get it. They found You'll it. You'll get it. Um, and we'll check out anything else that's, um, that is uh, worrying you. Worrying you. There we go. Okay, everybody. Right. Um, we will be back tomorrow. <laughs> Gemma, our cup runneth over. I feel this week. Yes. Because tomorrow we're bringing you brand new Odile. <laughs> yes! <laughs> brand new Odile kits. Yes! Uh, so this is the place you want to be for those um, because they are uber stunning, uber, uber stunning, and it would be rude not to, quite frankly. So there we go. I will see you here tomorrow at 10 o'clock for Textile Tuesday. Take care. Lots of love. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.